welcome back to my channel. My name is Fernanda if you don't know who I am. Welcome back. I missed you guys. If you keep up with me, videos on my channel and my social media platforms have been kind of insane recently, over flooded with Coachella content, but I actually just came back two days ago and I have had to catch up on so much work. Literally, so behind on YouTube videos. I don't know why I do this to myself, so behind on editing. My health feels like, you know, going crazy for a week, being in the desert, breathing in dirt and overall just feel so much exhaustion. I don't know why. I just feel like I need a nap every two minutes and I've actually been procrastinating filming this video this whole afternoon just because I've been so tired and I don't even have the energy to film a video. Anyways, the point of me rambling on about that was that in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a self-care after a long stressful week routine. Whether you have school all week, whether you're working all week or you're just mentally, emotionally exhausted and you are just like, oh my God, I just feel like I need a break. We're gonna take an afternoon and really take care for ourselves, make ourselves feel good. I feel like one of my favorite things to do, or actually I think something that I'm really good at, which I guess, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if that's a flex or not, but I'm really good at like taking care of myself or like setting aside time for self care because I just cannot function if I'm not feeling good in the inside. And once you feel good in the inside, it translates through outside. First of all, if you're new here, subscribe. If you like routine videos or self care, lifestyle, productive, even fashion, fitness, wellness, literally anything, or you just like me, subscribe down below because I post weekly videos. I'm obsessed with Notion. I basically have my whole life on here and I always make lists. So we have here my self-care night routine after a stressful week. I just love the way it looks already with the pink little background and the moon. I'm gonna write down the things that make me feel better when I'm really stressed out. Whenever I feel stressed, I either like start crying and like and avoid every single task that I have and ignore everybody. Or two, I'm like, okay, take a deep breath. Let's let's get through this. It's to shower, 100% to shower, but I don't even wanna shower today. I actually wanna do a bath. So I'm gonna say, take a relax bath. I actually just had a facial this past weekend and they were massaging my neck and they were like, when was the last time you got a massage? And I was like, I don't know. I haven't taken a massage in a while. And they were like, you are literally so stiff. Like you need a massage ASAP. So that really was kind of awkward and a little bit embarrassing since we don't have the time to go to a massage right now. He actually suggested me that I should take some Epsom salt baths. Epsom salts soaked in water can help relax muscles and loosen stiff joints. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Sleeping in a clean room. Is my room clean right now? No. Next thing. I love to eat. <sighs> eat something that makes me happy might be sushi. I'm gonna say full moon in Libra journal prompts. Drinking lots of water makes me feel good. I've never actually done this before, but I think that this will make me feel really good tomorrow. That is to make overnight oats. If you give yourself the time to like make yourself something the night before and you're taking care of your future self, your future self will thank you and be like, thank you, past Fernie, for doing this act of kindness to yourself. And we're gonna start to clean our room because I just I just want to be in a clean room tonight. My room is low-key pretty messy, but like I said, it's just because I came back from traveling and my stuff is everywhere. I just put on this sweat set from Los Angeles Apparel. I'm literally obsessed with them. They're a little bit pricey, but like so worth it. I want to buy their sweatsuits in every freaking color because they're my favorite. I got this little two-piece set. It just comes with the hoodie, the shorts. I'm obsessed. Making sure to stay hydrated. I'm actually going to listen to the Miss Congeniality podcast with Eli Rallo. I've talked about their podcast before. I'm obsessed with her. She's just like so funny and I love the way she thinks and speaks. I'm gonna listen to the episode How to Have Besties in Your 20s. slumber party. I'm obsessed with the setup. <sighs> Guys, I 
off screen i just ate like half of a cake i'm not joking i opened this little lemon cake i don't know if you've ever seen them but they're these little lemon cakes that you can get at like superstore don't know if you have that where you live and i opened it this morning and i swear to god i've, e I've eaten the entire thing today it's just so good I i'm a little bit regretting it but at the same time it was so good i'm going to order sushi because it's treat yourself season i think i'm gonna get like something kind of healthy like just like fish moment not anything too saucy <laughs> Place that it's ordered let's go make those oats I told my mom I was gonna make overnight oats and she literally went out of her way and like set it all up for me I'm so thankful let me show you what we've got oats almond butter honey chia seeds cinnamon almonds pumpkin seeds hemp hearts and whole flax seeds so I don't actually really know how to make overnight oats but I'm pretty sure you just put like oats in a little jar put some like milk in there add all your toppings then you just put it in the fridge and then in the morning you can just eat it and it's already ready to go so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add in oat milk because I am not a dairy drinker anymore so I have a bunch of berries that I can add in but I might do that in the morning actually so that they're not soggy about feeling overwhelmed and feeling stressed after the long week whatever feelings may arise with that whether that be being depressed anxious stressed or overwhelmed I feel like Although we can do all these self-care things that I'm gonna show you guys and like things that make me feel better after a long week, sometimes it goes a little bit deeper than that. And for me, that is when I need to go and talk to somebody else about what has been going through my mind during that week or things that happened that I can't really get through on my own. And I'm really excited to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video because it goes perfectly with this video and with that scenario, and that is BetterHelp. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp actually offers licensed therapy who are trained to listen and help you. You're able to talk to someone in a private online environment at your own convenience. They have such a broad range of therapists, like more than 20,000, that can give you access to help that may not be available in your area. And I think that is super important because regardless of where you live, you should be able to get the help that you need so that you can feel like a weight is lifted off your shoulder and you're not holding so much within. There's just a questionnaire that you can fill out and it helps assess your specific needs. And then you can get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You can schedule secure video and phone sessions and you can exchange unlimited text messages which I think is so helpful and everything you share is completely confidential. You can also request an additional therapist at no charge and at any time. I highly encourage you to join the 2 million plus people that have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. You guys can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Fernanda. That is betterhelp.com slash Fernanda. I will also have my link and all this information in the description so I highly recommend you check that out and click the link. So yeah, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring that portion of the video. Okay, I'm so excited. We've got spicy salmon sashimi with cucumbers so far. I only got two of these little nigiri rolls. I think I got tuna and toro. And then there's so many in here, but half of these are for my mom. I got her an avocado roll and I got some cucumber avocado for myself. And my cat is very curious. I'm really scared to be eating soy sauce with this white hoodie right now. so good though but now it's like 11 i'm gonna take a quick bath probably 15 20 minutes just for the epsom salts to kick in and actually like relax my muscles so i'm not as tight anymore and i'm going to shave my legs so that i'm all prepped up for self tanning tonight tell me my mom's bathroom isn't like loki the cutest thing ever my bath products for today is going to be this whipped soap and scrub french lavender i bought this in california it's just a random scrub i've got a razor i always use men's razors they're not that cute but i swear to god they work better than females razors and then i'm using the avino skin relief shower gel also this little mix that my neighbors actually made for me it's got eucalyptus sage rose geranium lavender and it's an epsom salt soak and then i also just have regular epsom salt and i also have this that i bought a while ago it says that it's fresh goat's milk 
milk, but it's just like bubble bath. bath to finish up you can hardly hear me right now but since it's gonna take another while and i still need it to cool down because it's so hot i have these weights in my mom's bathroom and i'm gonna do this five minute arm workout i've actually been doing it a lot recently because they do this workout at soul cycle and at the workout classes that i do at my gym and i can never do it it's like mini motions like this for like five minutes and I swear to God I have zero strength when it comes to that and I've been doing this video on YouTube that is a five minute workout with five pound weights non-stop and it's actually improved my strength so much and now I can actually do it for the full five minutes so my goal is to do it like once a day or something so that when I go to these classes I don't fully embarrass myself so I'm gonna do that while I wait for it to finish up. Uh, roll those shoulders back and down we're starting with five give me three two and one Get in the bathtub. My mom was nice enough to come in here and offer me some ice cream, which it's really adding to the vibe right now, very much adding to the self care era. It is Hagen chocolate hazelnut. And I've got my book, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, that has taken me months to read. Tell me why when I had COVID and I was in lockdown, I read like three books in a week. And now that life has resumed back to normal, this has taken me like three months to read. La musique. Je peux I'm going to play my favorite music and just vibe out for a bit. Et la musique classique, ça vous fait quelque chose? Oh, pas tellement. La, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le cœur. Awkward moment when you literally fall asleep while filming and don't finish the video. Am I okay? No. Normally I would give myself a really hard time about that because I like my videos to go a certain way. Like I like there to be a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I, I, you know, I like to put the most effort that I can in my videos. So obviously I could just finish the video off last night, but I feel like I'm not done. So we're going to continue it on to this morning with the things that make me feel good. In the next portion of the video, one is going to the gym. It's like 8.30 in the morning and I woke up voluntarily, probably because I was in a panic that I accidentally fell asleep. But since I'm awake, I'm like, might as well go to the gym. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I have not gone to the gym in like a week because I was traveling and I really miss it and it would make me feel better if I went. gym sesh I felt strong I feel like the one week that I actually took off probably was for the better because I could bounce back I realized how strong I was and that I wasn't just this weak little flimsy whatever and it felt good it felt good but now it's like 12 and I'm hungry so guess what you guys get to see me make the overnight oats I'm excited I'm kind of confused if you're supposed to eat them cold. I mean, like, they must taste good like that, but, like, is that what you do? This is what she's looking like. Interesting. Are you supposed to eat overnight oats cold or hot? Overnight oats are meant to be eaten cold. However, if you prefer warm oats, you always have the option to heat them up. Interesting. Okay, it's kind of a lot, but honestly, I'm really hungry. Of course, my fave. 
I'm gonna add some of this Goline little cinnamon cereal. Although granola would probably be healthier, but. Okay, this looks fire. I'm so excited. Tell me if this doesn't look jaw dropping. I'm also gonna make myself some tea because I'm a big tea girl now. One specifically that I love is the David's Tea Forever Nuts Tea. It's so good. It says that it's nutty, sweet, and addictive, which is facts. It's also caffeine free and it's a fruit infusion tea and it's pink. It's literally like, what else would you ask for? I'm literally gonna show you guys my tea collection because I, I love tea, it's underrated. Forever Nuts, awesome, we love her. Green tea, healthy option. It also has ginger in it, which is really good for you. It aids in weight loss and digestion, I believe. And I think it just has a lot of health benefits. And it's also really good for after a meal or first thing in the morning. Peppermint tea, so fire, so fire, I'm obsessed. Chai, we don't even need to talk about it, I love chai. Orange Pico tea, I swear, there's something in it that makes it so addicting, it tastes delicious. This one is called the Sleepy Time Tea. I have this sometimes before bed. So we're gonna let it steep for like 15 minutes, but the trick with this is I love putting a splash of oat milk in it. I just really think that it elevates the flavor. This is my favorite milk. It is the Chobani Oat. Either vanilla or unsweetened is good, but I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit. She's so cute and pink. Taste test moment. I also added protein powder yesterday, so perfect for an after workout snack. Delicious just how I expected it to taste. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we're gonna journal. Random intermission, I just got some packages from the mail that I wanna show you guys. I got these three baby tees. This one is from Every Jewels and the tag is so cute. It says made with love by Every Jewel. And then these two are from Serotonin LA. Once again, look how cute their little logo is. This one says to play the devil's advocate. And this one says, yes, actually the world does revolve around me. And I just think that they're so cute and funny. So I think I'm gonna wear one of them right now. Like, are you kidding me? This is adorable. Journal. Let's not mind the fact that I like stripped my bed completely because I actually dropped water on my comforter and it really made me angry So I just took everything off, but I've got my little black journal here I have been journaling a lot recently just because I was away and I was traveling and like being on the airplane and stuff Okay, wait, this is, this is bothering me <laughs> Okay Bro Okay Why would I ever do that? Holy Anyways, tying back to the original point of this video, which is how to de-stress like after a long week or a very exhausting week, I feel like without putting too much pressure on yourself, literally just write down three of your favorite things that happened this week, three of the worst things that happened this week and why they happened or what you could have done better. Maybe you could write down five things that you were grateful for that happened, two things that you're looking forward to for next week. You can just write down and like plan for the following week, something just to kind of like brain dump everything that you have onto your paper. I just kind of journal whenever and randomly like if there's something that came up and I feel like I need to brain dump it but I'm also really lazy and I kind of hate writing so a lot of times I'll just film myself talking on my MacBook and just like video diary like just explain how I'm feeling <laughs> finished journaling now. I feel good. I feel happy. Um, a little mental health update for myself, if you guys are interested, is that I feel really good. I feel really happy and a little bit anxious because I feel like my life is really going to change in the next few months that I don't want to talk about yet, but you guys will be updated very shortly. I'm so excited and I love you guys and I'm so blessed and happy that I have a platform where you guys actually care about me and you know, all of the above. I'm just so happy. I do want to say though that I feel
feel like in my past few vlogs I've really been reinforcing that I'm really happy which I feel like is good and sometimes it motivates other people to be happy as well because you know energy transfers through the screen and sometimes I feel like when I'm at my best you guys can feel it and you guys comment like oh your, your videos make me feel so good about myself like when you're happy like I'm happy whatever but I also understand when I'm in a low vibrational state or when I'm in a bad mood or I'm in a bad place and I see people constantly posting about how happy they are how grateful they are and they're just like keep pushing it gets better I just want to say like shut up we get it you're freaking happy and I had to tell myself like okay Fern you're doing this out of a place of literally projecting like you just because you're in a bad mood it doesn't mean that you need to bring other people down or it doesn't mean that you know other people can't be super happy and like you know what I mean like it doesn't have to bother me I'm what I'm just trying to say is that I hope by me talking about how like I'm happy and I'm grateful it isn't coming off as annoying or bragging in some sense I truly just want to feel like a community and that you guys can trust me and count on me or tell me if you guys are feeling down I hope that you guys know through the screen that I would never judge you guys ever 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 and whatever stage you are at in your own mental health or health journey like it's an open space here with that being said I hope you're doing well everything always gets better if you guys have watched up to this point in the video comment below this emoji leave a comment down below I just want to talk to you I love reading the comments and nothing makes me more happy than having a full comment section see you very shortly you're a queen or king or royalty.